Hello, I'm Pi, like the number, and today I'm gonna give you a tour of my makeup station, slash vanity, slash desk that I do my makeup at, slash YouTube office. If you've ever wondered, hmm, what does a drag queen's makeup desk look like? It must be very messy. You're correct, but that's not what it's gonna look like today because I cleaned it. I'm also gonna show you my filming setup, so if that's something that you're itching for, I got just the thing to scratch it, baby. Now this is something that I have been highly requested for. That's what all the YouTubers say, don't they? They say that they were requested for things, but we all know nobody asked for it. Well, that's this. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Pi. I'm a drag performer from Philadelphia, and I live, laugh, love, wacky drag, and all things weird and creative. And if that's something that you also like, hit subscribe, because we're gonna get along great. Now, before we get started, I do wanna make something very clear. I am in no way, shape, or form here to brag about the amount of products that I have, and truth be told, I really don't have that many, especially compared to a lot of YouTubers that have this exorbitant amount of products that we all know they're never gonna actually use all of, but they still feel the need to show off every single piece. Girl, come on. I'm here to show you what I actually use and what I actually like to keep readily available. And if I'm keeping something here on my desk readily available, there's usually a reason for it. And it's certainly not to just have a bunch of shit on my desk. I don't have the Alex drawers to just throw all of my shit in and then never look at again. And also, if you stick around until the very end, I will tell you a super duper secret tip about one of the products that I keep on my desk at all times, because it is actually very, very useful. So let's go ahead and flip this camera around and show you backstage here at Pi's makeup desk office thing. Oh my God, y'all, I'm so nervous. Are you ready? Are you ready to see? I'm gonna turn the camera around, oh my God. All right, here we are. I've gone ahead and I flipped the camera so you can see what I'm seeing, whether you like it or not. Let's first go ahead and go over the filming setup because there are three big ring lights shining at me right now and they're kind of bright and I wanna flip them around so you can see everything on my desk a little bit better. So let me zoom out a bit. All right, real quick, just so we can flip these ring lights around, I have a large, a newer brand ring light in the middle. I got it off Amazon. And then on the sides, I have two smaller ring lights, just to, you know, light up my, the sides of my face, you know, the sides of my face, like the sides with ring lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip some of them around so you can see all the products and stuff a little bit better. So I'll be right back. And we're back. I went ahead and I removed the two side ring lights. So let's go ahead and start the desk tour, shall we? All right, so this lovely piece of hardware right here, this desk, this is just a big old Ikea desk. And this chair, that's a chair that I've had forever. So over here on the left-hand side, I have two containers. I have this one, which is kind of like a filing thing. And then over here, I have like a folder holder. Both of these I'm pretty sure I got at the dollar store because I love saving money. So over here, I have my frequently used palettes and some not so frequently used palettes. And so I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 1, 2, and 3, all of which are so good, as well as the Morphe Pride palette from last year. I wasn't really into the new one this year. Let me know down below if you did like it. I don't know. It was too many glitters for me. Anyway, and I just bought the Morphe 35i palette, which I have been eyeballing since it came out like forever ago. So will I eventually probably make a video about it, even though it's old? <laughs> Maybe. All right, so we're gonna move these out of the way for right now. And we're gonna focus in on this little, this little bad boy right here. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit, which in reality, I don't really use that much anymore because she looks like this. So like, maybe not. Let's, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep it that way. So also over here, I have two smaller palettes that I don't use quite as much. I have the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive palette and the Suva Beauty Hyper Color palette, which seems like a great palette. 
It's not a great palette. Why do I still have it up here? Because sometimes I like to use the Inglot Duraline with it to try it out every once in a while, but most of the time I'm disappointed. So this might get set aside as well at some point. Over here, I also have these small NYX palette. It's just some shimmers. My friend had gifted that to me and I keep it around for if I'm feeling like I want a shimmer because I don't use shimmers very often. So I like to keep them around in case I ever feel that urge, you know? I also, of course, had my my Once Upon a Time Holy Grail, which was the Morphe and James Charles palette. We love that or loved it. I don't really quite use it as much anymore, but uh, it Ignore that. So I also have my custom, ooh, baby, she's seen some shit. I have my uh, custom Z palette, you could call it. And inside of this bad boy, which I've had for quite a while, as you can see by the wear and tear, I have some common colors that I've used. This is all of my sugar pill individual pans. These are two colors that were gifted to me. And these are my two common contour shades, both of which are from Makeup Geek. These are some leftover shadows from previous individual palettes that I've had. I'm pretty sure they're like coastal scents. And then this is the Makeup Geek Black, which I absolutely love. So also in here, I do have this piece of plastic for doing little eyeshadow wing moments, as well as some black cardstock because this acts as a fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all that back. Nice and tidy so we can move on to the brushes. This is the James Charles and Morphe brush set container. Um, I had only gotten a select number of them, one of the packages, and now I keep this half for my large fluffy brushes and all of my like contour blush, stuff like that. And then I of course have this casual mug of smaller brushes. These are detail brushes, blending brushes, concealer brushes, pretty much all of those small brushes. And I have definitely not gonna be going over all of these, but if you watch one of my makeup videos, I will likely detail some of the ones that I'm using that I absolutely love and you would probably love as well. Now, like any good makeup person, I also have this nice rough sponge thing. So that way, if you get a brush nice and dirty, you can go up get you all clean, woo! All right, go get back, get back. All right, so of course right here we have this mirror which I got on Amazon. It is Fun Touch brand. And when you tap it, it lights up, but I had to unplug it to move some stuff around. Don't worry about it, just trust me, it works. And I have some e.l.f. Poreless Primer Putty, which I keep here for when I'm feeling like I wanna use it. Recently I've switched to a different primer though, which leads me over to this section, this section of uh, chaos. So over here, these are the three sponges that I actually used today. So that's why they're right here. We can ignore them. They don't really have a home. They just kind of float and there's nothing wrong with that. Your makeup sponge just can sit and lay down and take a nap wherever they want. They're tired. They really just beat the crap out of your face. Give them a break. Over here, we have my powder puff, which I got from somewhere on the internet. And this is very misleading. So we all know about Cody Airspun, you know, the drag powder, but I, I hate it. I don't like using it at all, but the container is big. So I decided to take my actual setting powder, which is the Ben Nye Luxury Neutral Set and put it in here because you can fit a lot more in here. And we love that. This little guy is just my contact skates for the contacts that I have in currently. So we're gonna, so actually focusing in on here. So this is organized into a couple different sections. So I got this container at somewhere cheap. It really wasn't anything special. It has these nice little compartments, which I absolutely love. So I was able to fit all of my Krylon TV paint sticks over here, which I'm not gonna go over all of the shades that are in here, but if you wanna pause the video to take a look, go right ahead. Now moving along to this section, I keep a couple weight caps there because as I'm doing my my makeup, I like to wear a wig cap so that way I know where my wig line is actually gonna be. And that way I don't accidentally do my makeup all the way out here and then have it be covered up by a wig. That's embarrassing. This front section contains like tubes of things. So this is a very old milk lip gloss. This is the Morphe eyeshadow primer, which I haven't really used in a while because I don't know why. This is the NYX glitter glue, which I absolutely love, especially if you're putting glitter on your cheeks. This is the NYX multitasker mixing medium, which is really useful if you're just trying to thicken something up, such as like a loose pigment. My current primer, the Ordinary's High Adherent Silicone Primer. I absolutely love this. It really is that girl. And lastly, in this little section, we have my backup primer, which is currently the Wet n Wild Matte Matte. Matte, 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 
matte face primer. It's a backup primer. I keep it there if I need it. All right, so let's go ahead and check in on this back section. I have a pair of scissors because you never know when you're gonna need them. And I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is my current setting spray if I decide to use it because sometimes when I'm filming videos, I forget, like tonight. This front section is some other commonly used products. I have my Inglot Duraline, which is really useful for my Inglot Gel Liners, which we'll get to later. So Morphe White Concealer, which I used to use for all of the whites on my face until I I got the Impulse Cosmetics White Liquid Lipstick, which I am really loving. My mascara, which is literally just an old mascara that I had. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm really not picky about mascara at all. As long as it gets my eyelashes black, I'm happy. I have two NYX brow pencils, which I used to use for my boy brows, but I haven't needed to do those in a while. So I keep them here just in case. Just like why I keep this NYX eyebrow marker there. Newer to this collection, I have some ColourPop cream gel liners, which I am pretty into when I find the need to wear them. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but overall they're pretty decent product. Now ignore the fact that this is uh, quite old and dirty looking. This is the Milk Cosmetics uh, something. I don't know what it's called, but it gives you this goopy, like shiny patent black goop and like it's so cool when you like have a reason to wear it. I have a look coming out soon that you'll see with it and it's a uh, great. All right, moving along to this last section of this container, we have my Juvia's Place shade sticks, which I keep here. And pro tip, if you keep them upside down, you can see what the shade names are, which is very useful. Up front, we have my current foundation, which is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. It is in the shade 1.2P and it is so good. We absolutely love her. Mwah. In the back, we have a large thing of contact solution because I wear a lot of contacts when I'm in drag, a nail file, a pen, and some large paintbrushes in case I feel like literally painting my face. Moving to this in-between section, we have little clickers, which help me to turn on and off my camera if I'm either taking a video or a picture. We have this tiny drinking glass, which I use to put water in, and I will explain that in a few moments. I have some hand sanitizer, and of course, I have some got to be glued because it is the only hairspray that I will use. It is, it's so good. It's the best. All right, we're really moving into the meat and potatoes now. Of course, we need to start off by pointing out the obvious. Yes, I have a snack at all times because why wouldn't you? This container I got at home goods somewhere. I actually don't remember. I think I got it at Home Goods, but I really can't remember for sure. If you have one of these and you know where it came from, let me know, because I would totally get another one. But up here in this top little drawer, I have all of my current contacts, which I actually have a bunch more that I need to put into their cases that I got from Contact Lens Hub, which is not the sponsor for this video, but if you do need color contacts, they're that girl. They literally have five for $50. Hello, incredible. Now these drawers also pull all the way out, which is really nice, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull each of them out. Here's the top right hand drawer, which I have a couple tools. I have an eyelash curler, some extra e.l.f. HD powder, my Ben Nye Luxury Neutral Set, a pencil sharpener, and some extra eyelash curler things. Moving on to the second to top drawer. This is my eyelash drawer. Here are some lashes that were gifted to me from Contact Lens Hub. I'm excited to try them out. They're these weird little feather lashes. We'll figure out what to do with them. Right on top, I have some tweezers for applying lower lashes to have a nice clean application. These are my two boxes of hell lashes, which actually have like four pairs in them total. I keep a couple of old pairs just in case I ever need them. In the middle, I have some duo quick dry glue, which I absolutely love. It is my favorite lash glue to use. And in the back, I have some really last resort, you never know when you might need them, bold black lashes. On the left-hand side, we have mostly lower lashes such as these Chaotic Cosmetics lashes, which I'm actually wearing right now. This old empty container, which I have kind of used to put in little sugar pill pieces in. Some new lashes that I have not quite used. Some old Hell lashes, some old sugar pill lashes, and some new sugar pill lashes. All right, finally moving along to the next drawer, which is 
glitters. I'm really not gonna get into too much detail with this one, but keep also keep my loose highlighters here, which are by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have some Makeup Geek pigments right here and my absolute favorite glitter, Anastasia Beverly Hills Crystal Cave Loose Glitter. She is the best. She's that girl. Honestly, there's a lot of old glitters in here that I've had forever that I really just keep in here for if I need them, if I'm ever in the need for a very specific shade of green, considering I have like a thousand in here. So yeah, you never know. I've been accumulating since I started drag. This next drawer is a mixed bag. I keep my Inglot gel liners, which I have black, red, yellow, and over here I actually have white, which I don't really recommend. She's not really that good. And then I also have some Suva Beauty Hydra liners, which are water activated, which is where this small drinking glass comes in. Over here on the left, I have some pressed highlighters, two of which are very old Wet n Wild highlighters. One is the NARS Orgasm and Highlighter Combo. Back here, I have some Mayron Metallic Powder. Yeah, that's what it says. So it's a metallic powder. You can pretty much add it to a mixing medium or a Duraline, and it makes this really beautiful copper metallic liquid. I also have some large, chunky black iridescent glitter, which you never know when you're gonna need. This old Stila liquid eyeshadow, which I am actually pretty sure is dead, so let's... Some old sugar pill lipsticks, which I actually haven't used in quite a while because I switched over to trying out the Morphe liquid lipsticks, one of which I'm actually wearing right now. So let's go ahead and put her back. And last but certainly not least, we have the bottom drawer, which is miscellaneous. In this drawer, I have some old foundation, which actually does not match me, but it was a gift, so I keep it just in case I ever need it and just need to mix it with something. I have the absolute scrap remnants of some Ben Nye glitter glue because it is truly some of the best glitter glue possible if you're trying to make an entire section of your face have a nice dense pigment of glitter. Some Ben Nye Spirit Gum to glue down my wigs. When I decide to glue down my wigs, an emergency wet and wild waterproof liner, some water activated Krylon aqua color. These are also UV reactive, so I keep them back here. Over here, we have some Mayron tooth black and some tooth yellow. I've actually heard that there are better brands of tooth black out there. If you know of any, please let me know because I have not used these because I don't really like them that much, but I keep them if I need them. And of course, I have some of the original makeup products that I owned, which are these two CC Beauty cream palettes, which are absolutely knockoffs of the Makeup Forever flash palettes, but they are really, really wonderful. You can see in here, I hit pan on the black and the white a long, long time ago. Recently, I've really just been using them to mix in with some white Krylon because it helps me to create some sort of colored face, whether it be yellow or blue. These are really, really useful to mix into some Krylon 070 and get a nice, highly pigmented color base. I also just remembered that behind this mirror, I keep some makeup wipes. Not that I really use them. I do prefer to remove my makeup with an oil cleanser, but if I ever need them and some toilet paper, if I ever need to blow my nose. And thus concludes Pi's makeup desk slash vanity slash YouTube office grand tour. Uh, now, I did promise that I would reveal a nice little super duper secret about one of the products on my desk. Does anybody have any guesses? I'll give you a second to think about it. Think about it. All right, that's enough time. So now the secret product that I keep on my desk that has an ulterior motive, if you will, is actually the Pringles container. I know, I know. It feels like we're playing Clue. It was the drag queen with the Pringles container in the bedroom. I mean, office. I mean, beauty room. Now, the reason that this is a secret ulterior motive is because if you are taking selfies on your phone and depending on the height of your desk, the Pringles tube can support your wrist as you're holding the phone, which helps to prevent shaky hands and shaky photos. So if you have a Pringles tube lying around, go ahead and give it a shot. It really might work out for you. It worked out for me and I've been doing it since because it is 
And if it does work out, make sure you let me know down in the comments below so that way I can continue to spread the gospel of the Pringles tube because it is also a great snack. So that does conclude the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part? Is there anything that you would recommend that I do differently to further organize my makeup collection? Or if you absolutely hated this video but watched until this point anyway, also let me know in the comments down below. Leave me some hate mail. Let's get a little feisty. And don't forget to hit subscribe. I do put out new videos every week-ish, and if you like weird and creative things, you're gonna like my channel. So, hey. So until next time, bye. Ooh. Oh.